One of the principles of the particle model of matter is that all particles are in constant random motion. And we can demonstrate that with the diffusion of gases, with an experiment in which we react ammonia with hydrochloric acid, NH3, with HCl. The reason why we do that is to show you that gases move at different speeds. And so what we do here is we take these gases in their liquid, these substances in their liquid form, and we are going to dip each of those substances in cotton wool. And once we have done that, we then place that cotton wool inside this gas tube. We know that that substance will then evaporate inside the gas tube. And so we now have hydrochloric acid gas present on this side of the gas tube and ammonia gas present on this side of the gas tube. Now, while or as that gas evaporates, we will start to see them, or we will see when they meet each other, because when ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid, it forms ammonium chloride, which is a white solid powder or precipitate. And so what we expect to see here is when these two gases meet each other, we expect to see a white cloud form where these two gases meet and then eventually form a white ring inside this gas tube. It is important to do this experiment inside a gas tube so that these gases are not affected by drafts or winds through the room. And so these gases are free to move as they wish. And this shows us that gases are able to diffuse because they are in constant motion. Here we can start to see a white cloud that is forming. Now what this shows us or what this demonstrates is very clearly that these gases have been able to move through the air that is inside this tube and also it has shown us that the ammonia gas has traveled a far greater distance than the hydrochloric acid gas which tells us that not only do gases move but gases move at different speeds. The main reason for this difference in speed here is that ammonia is a much smaller molecule, much lighter molecule than the hydrochloric acid molecule which explains why the ammonia has covered a greater distance before colliding and then reacting with the hydrochloric acid molecule that forms this white powder that we now see that makes this cloud and eventually would form a white precipitate on the bottom of the tubes.